good morning. Good morning. There we go. There we go. Welcome to uh, social media breakfast number. What's the number? Nine. Can't remember. Um, so we've been doing these about a year, and this is the first time in several months that we've actually managed uh, two months in a row. So thanks to, to Amy Thronson over there, who's uh, back from maternity leave and helping with the organizing again. So any questions you can send uh, her way or uh, my way. Uh, before I just sort of introduce the moderator for the panel this morning, a couple of announcements. Uh, the first is that the hashtag, if you're Twittering or following the tweets, is SMB Austin, which is up there. Um, so, and also if you take any photos that you put on Flickr or, or videos, if you use that tag, it'll be easier to, uh, for everyone to sort of follow and find that media. Uh, secondly, does anyone have announcements that they'd like to share about upcoming events that you're running or sponsoring, that sort of thing? Anyone? Yeah. We're going to have a Drupal retreat. Okay. At, and you can get all the details at drupalretreat.com. Drupal retreat. And when is that? It's going to be September 12th at okay. UT. Excellent. Okay. Now, Wes. Uh, I'll be planning uh, this year's Twestable. It's going to be September 13th, tentatively from 1 to 5. Uh, more information to be distributed later. What day, what day is the 13th? It's a Saturday. Okay. Excellent. Anyone else? Yeah. Can we announce positions we're hiring for? That's okay. what I do. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm looking for a CFO. Okay. And the best way for them is to find you during the? On Twitter. At? That would be great. Kim what? underscore Hollinstead. Kim underscore Hollinstead. So, anyone else? Okay. Uh, I want to thank uh, Inc. Public Relations. They're back there for their generous sponsorship with the breakfast tacos and uh, the coffee and the water. <laughs>
and senior editor for uh, local news, and uh, he maintains a Twitter account or his own name uh, that boasts uh, just about 3,200 fewer people than the Bebo Beat account. Um, and, uh, That'll change after today. It will, yes, yes. And uh, uh, right here is Elise uh, Hughes. She's uh, joined Texas Tribune, which is the uh, new politics and policy site devoted to uh, enterprise and explanatory uh, journalism on the web. Uh, they're aiming to be like uh, Politico or uh, ProPublica, but um, for Texas. Uh, she was previously the state reporter at uh, KVU TV, and she uh, ran a successful uh, politics blog for the past three years for uh, KVU. Uh, at the Texas Tribune, she's going to be uh, the multimedia producer and social media community manager. Um, she's an avid tweeter, Facebooker, and blogger. And on the end is uh, Chelsea Stark, who currently works as a web producer at uh, KITV. Uh, she initiated the uh, social media push inside the station. That includes uh, maintaining their Twitter account, uh, which is really good, by the way, uh, trying to get everyone else to jump in after her. Uh, Chelsea also graduated from the University of Texas with a multimedia journalism degree. Uh, so new media has uh, always been her focus. Uh, she loves experimenting with uh, new technology to tell stories and deliver news and blogs <coughs> and shoots video in her spare time. That's everybody. Um, so. I, I can start right out by asking a question, but if anybody has a question right away with the panel, you're, you're welcome to just raise your hand at any point, and I'll call on you. I'm kind of hoping the audience drives this. Um, I do have questions to go through, though, if, uh, if uh, nobody has any. All right. Um, <laughs> we'll start out with, uh, I, I want to ask each panelist, uh, why should uh, media organizations spend the time and effort on social media? What's, what's the biggest benefit to us as an organization? I'll start with John. Um, I think for us right now, it's um, it's audience building for the statesman um, and for all of us. We uh, can tell the stories we're, we're producing and, and get people into them. Um, and community building. You know, we can interact with readers like we've never had before. Um, letters editor, you know, we had a thing called letters to the editor. We still have them. Um, you know, that used to be the way we reacted with or, or readers interacted with us. We put out a paper. You wrote a letter that arrived two days later, and six days later it appeared in the paper. Now it happens in two minutes. So I just think that speed is sort of the number one thing right now. Okay. And uh, Elise, same question. Um, I second what you're saying. And also, I, I kind of believe uh, that social media platforms are where audiences are. You know, I think that your brand isn't what you say it is. So, you know, KV's brand isn't what KV says it is, but it's what y'all think it is, you know, and so I think it's really important that we do, we go to where audiences are, or we try to engage audiences to come back to us um, as an arbiter, but more importantly, I think it's been successful, especially in the realm of breaking news, um, Mumbai, when it had the, the hotel shootings in Mumbai, you know, and I've said this before, you can see tweets from people actually on the ground in Mumbai an hour before CNN could get a live shot out, and that's so <coughs> significant, especially in our culture now because you want everything real time. We don't wait for news to be processed so much as, as it used to be. And um, in order to be competitive, I think news organizations who have reporters out in the field, who have you know a set of eyes and ears out there should use that, use the technology that is available in order to report that way. I just, you know, I, I feel like it's an imperative. And Chelsea, I'm gonna ask you a slightly different kind of going off what at least said. Um, with so many eyes and ears and so many reporters potentially out there using social media. What is, what's our role? Well, I mean, I think that we need to be somewhat of a, a filter to kind of gauge what, you know, is the information we're getting accurate. I mean, that's, that's always been the role of a news organization. Can, and, you know, we need to gauge, like, see if this is, you know, real and how important this is to people and, you know, at the same time, and, you know, altruistic Altruistically, I know it sounds a, it sounds a little silly, but it's we're like you know serving a role as a function to a, kind of a, help people if they have problems and you know to see if there's something that we can do. If someone says, "Hey, this is a real problem over here," and we can do that best through social media. We're also sort of a connecting point, you know. We um, as far as like, Twitter goes, everybody has their own accounts, their own followers. Um, you know, Twitter search. Of course, is, is very powerful in a breaking news situation. I was thinking of the Hudson River crash. Um, 